Hi everybody, welcome back to a rather overcast day here at the storage yard. Now today's video, I'm going to show you how to check the level of your gas bottle. Now the methods that we're gonna use and the products that we're gonna use work really well for both butane and propane tanks. Today I'm gonna to show you the various methods on a six kilo propane tank. Uh, which is the usual style which you find in a lot of caravans. It's one of the older ones which is known as a heavy bottle. Um, you can obviously get the light gas bottles now and they have a very handy little gauge on the top to show you how full they are. So let's just hop straight into it and first up it's this little fellow, it's the butane propane magnetic level indicator. So these little chaps are really inexpensive and you can pick them up from anywhere these days. I bought this one off of Amazon, but you can pick them up from uh, shops, dealers, uh, online, anywhere. They're really cheap, very affordable, and they work like this. It's, it records a difference in temperature. Um, I don't know if you can see that, I'm looking at the screen here. But if I just hold it, you can see that it starts to show a difference between temperature of two points. And the point is this, uh, when your gas is in your bottle, it's compressed and held in a liquid form. And this shows the difference in temperature between that liquid and the space above it. So let's put it on the gas bottle and I'll show you exactly how it works. So the process is really straightforward. Make sure your gas bottle is nice and clean and then just put the indicator on the side of the bottle there. Make sure it's got good contact and then we're going to leave that to change colour for the next couple of minutes. So this is a fairly new bottle um, and you can see that all the colours are pretty much the same here. So we've got on this line here a dark blue, this one over here is a uh, sort of dark brown um, and as the temperature normalises itself you can see that it's just changing colour all the time. What does this actually mean? Well, the theory is, is that uh, the difference between the uh, liquid and the space above it, the, the differences between these two is quite a big temperature change, and this should be able to tell us. And there's a couple of theories whether you should move these around to actually pinpoint the level, or whether you should just leave it on the side and uh, it will find the level for you. I'll be brutally honest with you, I've never got on with these things. Um, they've never really told me what how much gas is in the bottle. And uh, for a couple of quid, I think they're a waste of money. So uh, I wouldn't bother with that. Okay, so next up, it's the trauma level check indicator used on butane and propane. It's an expensive bit of kit. Uh, I bought this one for about 50 pounds, I think, in the NEC a couple of years ago. Not cheap, uh, link to this is down below. Uh, but it uses ultrasonic to uh, find the level of the gas bottle. Let me put it on the gas bottle and show you exactly how that works. It's very straightforward how we use this one. We just literally attach it to the side of the bottle and the indicator will go green or red and give us an indication with the beep as well. So again, because I know this is a fresh bottle, I'm going to start from this level and work my way up. And I hope you can see this okay. Green. Green. Red. Green. So it's telling us the level is about here on this gas bottle. As you can see, it's quite a nice little neat compact little device. It also comes with an LED as well, which you can see there. Don't know if it's worth 50 quid though. Okay, so if you haven't got 50 pounds to spend on a ultrasonic level check and you haven't got a magnetic a strip with you, what can you actually do? Well, possibly my favorite way of checking a gas bottle is to use nothing more than warm water. It uses a little bit of physics and uh, it's a little bit uh, time consuming, but nonetheless, we can find out the level of our gas fairly accurately, in fact, just using warm water. So let me show you how that works right now. So the process is really straightforward. All I've got here is I've got some hot water in a thermal mug and uh, all we're going to do is we're going to pour it over the side of the bottle and the idea is, is that we actually want to warm up the casket of the gas here, the gas cylinder itself. We want to warm it up and what will happen as we let it uh, settle down for a couple of minutes you'll notice that some of it will dry off and some of it will stay wet and uh, in some occasions you'll actually get a really crisp line of condensation. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some water over the side of the bottle here and then we'll let it dry off and see where we can find our gas level.
Right, we'll let that uh, just dry off and we'll see if we can find a line on the bottle. All right, folks, I don't know if you can actually see this. Um, we can just about see it here uh, in the flesh. So I don't know if it's coming out on the camera, but at the bottom of the line of this muck here, there seems to be a very faint line there between it being dry and wet. Now we can prove that. That's where I reckon it is. I'm gonna prove that just by wiping all of this off so it's dry again and we'll use our really expensive and I said it was about the bottom line of there so if we go in just beneath this there you go guys I hope that's been useful for you that's three different ways of checking your gas level so which products would I actually recommend well let's start off with this one would I recommend this no not at all I've tried using it in different ways. Some people say leave it on the side of the bottle, use the bottle whilst you're measuring it. I've tried it all different ways. They're just rubbish. So that's going in the bin actually. Would I recommend this? Well, yes, absolutely. If you've got 50 quid to spend on one of these things, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, the, the point is this though, it's very expensive, but you can go and check any bottle. You can literally just go around zapping all the bottles and make sure that, that everything is okay. They are ridiculously expensive. I think it's too much money, but they do work very, very well. Would I recommend the water trick? Yes, it's great if you're caught out and you haven't got any way of checking your gas supply. Uh, you can use a bit of hot water, just dribble it over and just wait and see. You, know, you will find it and you will see the level of the gas. So, you know, it's a good way to get out of there. But what I would recommend, and what I haven't actually got, is an inline gauge, which tells you how much gas is in the bottle. That's what I would recommend. You can get them in line to go in your uh, gas supply, so in between your pigtail and your gas bottle. Or if you've got an older style van, you can actually get regulators with the gauge already built on. And as I've already said, the new gas light bottles from Calagas, they already have a gauge and an indicator to let you know how much gas is in the bottle. So that's what I would actually recommend. Uh, now I've put links to all of these products down below, so go and have a look and see which one you fancy. Um, I didn't put a link to this though, which is the hot water. I think you can work out where that is. Just talking about the hot water, make sure you don't do it in your front locker because everything will get wet. Um, and also don't use boiling water because you might burn yourself. So use hot water, but not boiling. Um, and th that's it, that's all you need to know. So from us up here today, from this very gray overcast day here in February, which is actually freezing cold, I'll see you next week. Take care, any questions, pop them down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Take care now, bye.